Hello and welcome. So we'll be solving another interesting question under uh, bending stresses in a beam. All right. So the question says the I section above is simply supported over a span of 12 meter. If the maximum permissible bending stress is 18 Newton per uh, mm square, what concentrated load? Can carried uh, can carried at a distance of four meter from one support. All right. So uh, what they are trying to tell us here is that uh, this eye section is simply supported over a span of what twelve meter. So they want to know the load that is going to carry at four meter away from any part of this support. You can and then I decide to draw a simple. Uh, a, a simple supported uh, beam that has a load W away from uh, uh, from point B. You can decide to take it from point A because they said from one support. So they did not mention any particular support. You can decide to draw it on towards A. So I'm using a B. All right. So and the length is 12. All right. So now the given data here, uh, we are given the maximum stress and the length of the simple supported beam and uh, our W, which is this W here, is a concentrated load carried at a distance 4 meter from point B. You can just complete it from point B. And if you are using A, it's going to be from point A. All right. So uh, for us to solve this question, we the reason for why we draw this uh, diagram is for us to calculate the maximum bending moment because we know that uh, if you draw the bending moment diagram it is going to be the uh, moment is going to be maximum at point c so for us to uh, know what we are doing we are going to be doing some little calculation here all right we know that we can say that the summation of forces in uh, uh, in a uh, y direction should be equals to zero that is the sum of upward force will be equal to the sum of downward force. So we are going to say sum of force in the y direction should be equal to zero. Why we take upward force to be positive and downward force will be negative. So we are going to say reaction at A plus reaction at B will be equal to W. So we can call this equation number one. All right. So we can take our moment towards Point A to be equal to what? Zero. All right. So if we take our moment towards point A to be equal to zero, it shows that R will be multiplied by 12. So reaction at B multiplied by 12 will be equal to W multiplied by the total distance towards this point. From here to here is 8. From here to here will be 8. So W times 8. All right. So uh, for me to get what my ROB is, I'm going to divide both sides by 12. So it shows that uh, my ROB will be equals to 8W divided by 12, right? So 4 year is 2, 4 year is 3. So it shows that our reaction at B will be equals to 2W over all right, so we can call this one equation number two. All right, so for us to get what our reaction at A is, we are going to substitute for our ROB in equation one. Then our ROA is going to be equals to W minus ROB. So ROA will be equals to 2W, sorry, W minus ROB, which is W minus ROB, and our ROB is 2 w over 3 so this will be equals to w over 3 all right so it shows that our roa our reaction at a will be equals to w over 3 all right so but uh, uh, uh we have gotten our reaction at a and then we have gotten our reaction at b so let's call this equation number 3 all right so now uh, I have just established that the moment is going to be maximum 
at this point C. All right, so we are going to calculate our maximum bending moment at point C. So it shows that maximum bending moment, maximum bending moment at point C, at point C, you can just put it at point C will be equals to, it's going to be equals to, so at point C, you can decide to take your maximum bending moment. You can, you know, they said maximum bending moment is the, uh, is the product of uh, forces uh, multiplied by the perpendicular uh, multiplied by the perpendicular distance either to the left or to the right that is the moment of a force either to the left or to the right you can either take your moment either to the left you can start from this and take it towards point c or you can take start from this side and take it towards this side because i have seen a lot of uh, student asking me a question that why is it that I only start my calculation from this side or some will say why not this side you can actually start from anywhere all right so I'm going to stand at this point and I'm going to take uh, my moment towards this side so it shows that I'm going to have just uh, one up uh, upward for it, which is going to be arrow a multiplied by the total distance so it's going to be arrow a multiplied by eight if you stand here and take it towards this side, you are still correct. We are going to arrive at the same answer. All right. So this is going to be equals to ROA is W over 3 multiplied by 8. So this is going to be 8 W over 3. So this is our uh, maximum. Uh, this is our maximum uh, uh, bending moment. So the unit is going to be Newton per uh, meter. So if I multiply this by 1,000 now, it's going to be what? Newton per what? Millimeter. So it's going to be 8,000 8, W over 30, then Newton per millimeter. All right. So that is what we are going to have. All right. So the next thing we are going to be uh, doing is we are going to calculate the moment of inertia. All right, the moment of inertia. So I have explained to us that if we have a symmetrical eye section, that uh, we are going to treat the moment of inertia the uh, same way we treat the uh, moment of inertia of a rectangular section. Because if I join this point to this point, and I join this point to this point, um, and I join this point here, join this point here, what I'll be having is nothing but a what a hollow rectangular section. So the formula is going to be equals to what? It's going to be equals to B D cubed over 12 minus B D cubed over 12. So which is equals to 1 over 12 into B D cubed minus B D cubed. So anyhow you want it all right so this i now the moment of initial will be equals to 1 over 12 into what is our b the b is the uh, base of the outer rectangle so which is 2 to 5 so it's going to be 2 to 5 multiplied by multiplied by d and the, the d is going to be the thickness of this place which is 11 point uh, 11.5 cube then minus our uh, ba uh, the base of the inner uh, rectangle now so this is our inner rectangle now so the base of this inner rectangle is always 100 minus the thickness of this place so it's going to be 100 minus 7.5 so we are going to have 100 minus 7.5 then the depth of uh, this uh, uh, in our rectangle is from this point to this point that this 225 minus uh minus d minus this plus this because we are going to subtract 225 from this and from this that is 225 minus uh 2 into 11.5 so 225 i'm going to have 225 minus 2 minus uh, uh 2 into uh, 2 times uh, 11.5 uh, that should be 
2 times 5, that's 22, that is 24, right? That should be minus 24. Alright. No, that should be 23, right? Uh, 2 times 11 is 22, that is 23. Alright, so that should be 23. So it's going to be 225 minus 2 times uh, 11.5. Alright, so you can therefore close your Bracket. So you are going to put a cube here. This one is always having a cube. All right. So that's it. Now, if you press all of this value directly in your calculator, you press two two five multiplied by eleven point five to the power of three minus hundred minus seven point five into two two five minus uh, twenty three to the power of uh, three. Then you divide your result by twelve you are going to have your I, uh, your moment of initial to be 3, 1, 3, 8, 6, 8, 6, 6, 4, 7, point four five M, M to the power of 4. All right. So that is going to be uh, the answer for our what? moment of initial. All right. So the next thing we can calculate here is the Y max. The y mass is the distance from the uttermost part to the what neutral axis. So, and uh, this is going to be, it is always at d divided by 2. This capital letter d divided by 2. So, which is 225 divided by 2. And if you do 225 divided by 2, you are going to have 112.5 mm. That is what you are going to have. All right. So now you are going to recall carefully from Flesura equation that if we have M all over I to be equals to stress all over Y. So uh, we are just, since we know what our maximum, this is our maximum bending moment, moment of initial maximum stress Y mass. So since we know what our maximum bending moment is, this is it here, and our moment of initial is this. And our maximum stress, our maximum stress is already given to us as an 80 newton per meter, which we are going to take to what? Uh, millimeter, uh, to be in what? Millimeter. All right. So, and uh, our Y mass is uh, 1225. So if you want to substitute now, we are going to say that this is going to be 8,000 W divided by I. Our I is 313. 86642 with 47.45. Alright. Uh 0.45. Sorry, I did not put divided by 3 here. I need to clean this. And I can if you say divided by 3, to put your divided by 3 here, you can actually multiply it by what is here. So it's going to be times 3. We are engineers. Alright, this is equals to so this will be equals to, or you can actually write 8,000 over W divided by 3, then divided by this I section, but this T descent is going to multiply this. All right. So our maximum stress, our maximum stress is uh, 80. So we are going to have our maximum stress to be 80 divided by, 80 divided by our Y max, which is one, uh, one, one, two point. Five. All right. Sorry, I made a mistake uh, while writing the given parameters. It's supposed to be eighty newton mm square. All right. So this is correct. Now we are we are going to use eighty here. So here now we are going to make our W the subject. So if we make our W the subject now, W will be equals to this multiplied by eighty. So three one three. 8647.45 multiply by 3 multiply by 80. Everything will divide 112.5 multiply by what? 8000. So if you press that in your calculator, you are going to have your weight to be what? To be 8369. 8369. What? 
0.77, then your answer is going to be what in Newton. So this is how to go about the solution to this question. I believe we understand this uh, fully well. And uh, if today is your first time of coming across our content, please do well to share this content with your colleagues uh, who might be in need of it. And uh, don't forget to click on the what on the like button and hit the notification bell so that whenever I upload a content, a good content like this, you'll be the first person to get the notice. Stay tuned to the Jerry Gatwick cover. Thanks.